So, hey, so in this video, we'll be looking into uh, how to deploy your web website or your web application in the GitHub pages. So, uh, GitHub pages is basically the alternative of, or you can say, the Vercel and Netlify. Uh, it is more, much more reliable. There are chances in the Netlify that you, your web application might get deleted automatically but uh, it is not the case that's not the case actually with the github right so let's see how can we do it so first of all you have to make a repository so there's my github and if you make a repo for example yeah for example my repo name is white it as as such okay so okay select my owner yeah, where white test is available, and you have to make this public. And by default, all the you, you, you just have to mention the repository name. Okay, so description I can add maybe for testing purpose. Testing purpose is not necessary to add a description, but I'm just adding. So I have created a repository now. Let's clone it now. So I've copied. So let's make uh, uh, maybe a, yeah, maybe a folder testing and then open it with VS Code. So let us clone the my repo. Uh, no. uh, good. So my, I got my repository. So for, uh, I mean, for my ease, what I will do is, I'll just, uh, I mean, I'll just get this out of my, I'm, I mean, I don't want to create any nested folders. So what I will do is I'll just, okay, close my base book. So I have just, now this is my real GitHub repository folder and I will just simply delete it. And now this, I will open it with PS code because it is better. I mean, what happens with the nested folders is every time you you have to again change the directories, right? So that's why it is better to go through. Okay, so let's create a React app. Just NPS, NPS, React, React, yeah. And I'll just uh, give it dot slash because I just want inside the Y test, okay? My React app too. So yeah, so let's install this. So now you can see that uh, my React app is completely installed. Okay? So I have done nothing. There is the SRC folder and app.css and dot This is just a React app. Okay? So uh, let's just deploy this only. I mean, this itself because this has some content that we need. App.js has something. Okay. So let's start. Uh, let's check and check first. Start. Meanwhile, uh, there are some commands you have to follow. In the package.json, uh, you have to write like home page. We'll give you a home page. And what you have to write is https dot slash slash. And your, I mean, the username. Okay? So username, I have this my username. So this is my GitHub profile. This is my username, right? Be just below the this thing. Okay, so there's my username. If I control C and then I, have, I just have to paste this. And what I have to do is there are also commands you can also say there are the commands. I will attach that to my that thing. So you have to write dot github IO and your repo name. Okay, so I'm just copying this dot github IO and your repo name. So what is your repo name? It is 
it is your uh, i think it's test i guess let me check once mm, it is y t t s t yeah. so i'll just copy this and i'll just paste it so now you have to and uh, again install an npm package as well yeah, my reactive is started so you can see i think the <clears throat> that logo react app logo it's taking time okay so for that you, you have to install another package this is the package name this is called github pages install you, 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 you just have to copy this and then you have to just paste okay so gh pages is an is an npm package so you have to install that and let's check the in the dependencies there. okay so we have to also add scripts something in the scripts as well you just have to copy this pre-deploy and new deploy i'll just simply copy this and just paste inside the scripts okay in the package.json inside the scripts at the top, you, you just have to paste. So now you'd see that um, it is completely ready. And my GitHub page is my URL is also also correct. There's my username. It should be the username. In the HTTPS and your repo name. My repo name is YTTS. So you just have to do npm run deploy. I think run deploy. Yeah, I think it was run deploy. Yeah, it is wrong. So if I start this, and then, okay, this is my reactor. So this is gonna be uh, that will be deployed. Okay. So it will give you. It will just give you a build folder. My build folder is you got created now, and. Um, Let's also push this as well because okay. push to just yeah, just push it. Okay, yeah. mm. It takes a little bit time. For the first time so every time you have to update something in your update something you have to just do the run deploy so, so yeah repo. there's my repo and okay, my my react app is here. so in the settings in the left side, you will be you will get an option of uh, I mean a tab called pages. If you click on that, so this your how your I mean by default also it's it is the same only I mean your the settings, but make sure the settings are like this only. They should be gh pages, and they should be root not docs. Okay, this published is telling me published. It might give uh, me four not four. I think it, it might give me a phone or four because it takes time to deploy, to get deployed. So let's test this URL. So this is your URL, okay? So if you, but there is also another way you can get the URL. You will look into it. I think it will give me most probably, okay, it is giving me phone or four, yeah. It's giving me, it actually takes time. Uh, yeah, so it is taking some time. So by this also, you will you will get your URL if you visit the pages before it go it gets de deployed. There won't be any site uh, any visit sites tab, but after you deploy it, this tab will get created automatically. You don't have to do anything. So if you click on visit site, so it is it is giving me phone output now because it takes time at least five to ten minutes. So if you check the console, it is giving me phone up. So let's wait for some time. Until it gets deployed. 
So if you see on the code, I think it, there was a yellow color thing also against purple. So you can see my site got deployed. So it takes time. It almost takes uh, five, at least five minutes for the initial de deploy. So for example, if you want to update something, so let's go to app.js. Maybe I want to, um, uh, I want just an H1. Let's just make an H1 and hello. Okay, and I'm just uh, removing these things for now. I'm just commenting on these things. So it is, uh, I mean, it is not necessary, but I will highly recommend you to push this uh, because, I mean, I prefer pushing the repo and then deploying it, okay? Because it, okay, let me, but you can also skip this part. Uh, I mean, the pushing part. In the initial part, it will, it takes almost five minutes to get deployed. Uh, so before five minutes, you will get a phone off or maybe in the UI or maybe in the console, you, you will get a phone off. So just make sure you are doing this part first. See, this, this is how your URL will look like, okay? So why it is, this is the exact URL you have given in the uh, package or JSON. So, save it or one. Yeah, you will always get a published uh, here. I mean, the published message, it will at the end, uh, it will give you a publish. You might get uh, that, for example, maybe in my case, the Y tab didn't work. So make sure you are doing it in the React tab because yesterday I think I have tried with white, so it didn't work on that, but you can try. I'm not sure about the Y tab, but yeah, in the React tab, it completely works. And there should be a published message here. I mean, just the published. Otherwise, if it didn't, go, if there is some error or something, then it will, in case, in in place of this published, it it will, it will give you that exact error. Okay. So let's see what is our wrong. Let me again go to the URL. So there's my URL. This in in the GitHub pages, you will get the URL in the repo settings. So if I again click this, okay, this actually takes time. Yeah. So if you refresh this, you will get a hello. So when you, whenever you, I mean, update some changes or there's an update in the file, you can either push uh, or it is not necessary to 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 push the to push it to the GitHub repo again. But uh, yeah, you can directly deploy it and then go to the output and you just make sure you are refreshing the page. Because it is, I mean, it is not like Bursal, it, it right away gives you the output of them. So, but the thing is, it is much more reliable in the GitHub page to, I mean, it, it is much more safe to rely on GitHub rather than the Bursal. Because your app might get, I mean, it might crash or something, or it might get deleted from because you are using a free version, right? So yeah, I mean, this was all. I will attach this, uh, this all the commands in my kit in my video the description. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Bye.